roots of our organization go back uh, to the campus of Michigan State University uh, in 1969-1970 school year. A group of students got together uh, to restore uh, Pear Marquette 1225, the locomotive you see behind me. It had been donated to the university in 1957. Uh, it ran here in Michigan for about 10 years from 1941 to 1951. It was retired in favor of diesel locomotives, but two of them were actually preserved, and one was donated to Michigan State. A group of students got together to restore it, and over time, that group evolved into what is now the, the Steam Learning Institute. There are a lot of components on the locomotive in its driving gear and running gear that all work together and they have to be kept in proper alignment. The API is here today getting accurate measurements of 1225's frame so that we can accurately locate all of the driving axle bearing boxes. So I don't know much about trains specifically, but I think all the measurements that we take are important from food production to automotive, trains and airplanes. It doesn't really matter what you're building or what you're trying to produce. You want it to fit, you want it to work, and you're cutting out a lot of the guesswork by bringing API on site. In addition to being one of the last large operating steam engines of its type from the, the late steam era through the 1940s, this engine was also used for the Polar Express feature film. In 2004, the early 2000s, uh, Warner Brothers and the, the Zemeckis production company had contacted us and they used um, uh, images and video and, and sound recordings from 1225 to do their animation in uh, the Polar Express feature. So when you see the movie at Christmas time, know that most of it is in fact from that engine. The, the images and, and motion of the, the running gear, the sounds, all came from here in Michigan with 1225. There's some shoes and wedges. Think of them as wear plates that um, are designed to wear out over time, and, and they have. So we're replacing those, and those parts are all machined within you know, a few thousandths of an inch of tolerances to, as they fit together. You want everything, you want all the matching parts to be fit snugly together. So those measurements are, are going to be guiding the machinists who will be shaping the metal surfaces that will hold all the running gear together tightly. So once we have all of these frame measurements and we can turn them into a CAD drawing of the frame, that'll allow us to design the shoes and wedges that go against the pedestal jaws that will keep the bearing boxes in alignment. They'll be shipped back up here for reassembly over the next couple of months. And uh, later on this, uh, this summer, we'll be testing it all out, getting it back on its wheels, running uh, some test runs, and getting ready for uh, our fall and holiday operating season. To work on stuff this scale is fun. To be outside in the sun, working on a train. You know, it's something different all the time, and sometimes it's big, sometimes it's small, but I always learn something new. Every job I go on, I, I gain something from the customers and, and the, the project we're working on. Visit our website, michigansteamtrain.com, and come out and join us. It's a lot of fun. It's really interesting. If you enjoy railroads or if you just have a love of history and, uh, or enjoy meeting lots of people that come through on trips and for tours, uh, come out and join us. Thank you.